Welcome everybody. Weasel 2 htm tells a story. In one of my recent videos, Wilkes85 asked about an object on the wall. And here is the object in question. Actually, the object was one of a pair. Those are JBL three and a half inch car speakers. And those speakers have a story behind them and that story is how I came to know UXW Bill on YouTube. See, um, when I first started at my work, we'd have to use our personal vehicles to go from building to building. And then since nobody was driving this uh, certain vehicle, we were asked if we wanted to use it for traveling building to building rather than use our personal videos. And I'm like, yes! Because no more wear and tear, no more having to uh, uh, write down and keep track of my mileage because they did reimburse us for that and best of all I could ride my bicycle to work and still be able to get to from building to building that was my main shall we say ulterior motive so anyway what we got was a 1986 Chrysler K car a Plymouth Reliant it wasn't in shall we say the best of shape but it had four wheels and it ran, but the thing is, the radio didn't work. And while you don't need a radio to get around town from building to building, there is more than once when it, even a working AM radio would have been nice. And this vehicle had a non-working AM radio. So anyway, my coworker had this pile of crap head unit that he wasn't using because it was a pile of crap and he said I will donate that to the cause but if you come up with some speakers so I went on eBay picked up a a Chrysler fit kit and and you know these JBL speakers which credit to Jeremy for telling me about that JBL actually at the time was had good deals on some of the refurbished products on eBay I don't know what they still do this was Oh gosh, not quite 10 years ago, eight, nine, something like that. It's been a little while, but you know, I said deal, but I got this stuff, but I wanted an idea for what I was in for because I was going to have to at least partially take the dash out of this vehicle and I couldn't find anything good information. All I could find via Googling and YouTube searching was generic videos on how to install car stereo how to install car speakers but they were like you know more modern cars and showing how to install door speakers not dash speakers by the way why do the automakers think that humans have their ears in their ankles with the speakers down low in the door i don't get it anyway one of the few, if not the only, useful hit was UXW Bill's video on him putting speakers and a CD player in his 1984 Reliant K, aka the Red Rocket. So, I watched the video, I got an idea what I was in for, the install was a success. Um, I also put some bass blocker capacitors on these speakers, and unfortunately, I don't know if I forgot to take into account or what, but because these are two ohm speakers, instead of blocking them at 300 hertz, it blocked them, high passed them at 600 hertz, which made them a bit tinny sounding, but at the same time, I don't know how much you can expect from a three and a half inch speaker anyway. But other than that, they sounded quite good. I can certainly give those speakers my seal of approval. So put them in. They sounded great. I was happy, and um, but I found myself drawn to look at his other videos for some reason. And eventually, I subscribed. And about the time I started doing the Weasel Show, uh, we started exchanging messages a lot. So that's more or less a story on how I discovered UXW Bill, and then the Weasel Show came and all that, and. The rest, I guess you could say, is history. Now, I want you all to do something. I want to know, how did you discover UXW Bill? How did you discover Weasel 2HTM on YouTube? And how did you discover the Weasel Show if you discovered the Weasel Show first? 
that's something I've actually that is something I've actually been wanting to do a video about and ask people how did you discover me on YouTube how did you discover me on uh, the various live streaming sites so this was just a perfect opportunity to do so thank you for watching and feel free to leave a comment on what I asked about and I think that's about all I had to say so thank you for watching for the millionth time and while I make this video I am enjoying some Fitz Orange Cream Soda.